Hi, as part of your uh, self preparation plan for civil services interview, I would like to uh, sensitize you about something I call it as reflective speaking. This video is dedicated to that. When you are there in the interview room and you are speaking to them, it is your speech, what you speak to them, speaks volume about who you are, what are your value system, what kind of job that you are likely to perform when you are given with authority, uh, given authority and, and responsibilities. So I would like you to be cautious while you are speaking. Don't be extra cautious. I don't mean that you should uh, worry about every word that you are speaking. I would like you to internalize this whole idea which I am sharing with you now by auditing the mocks that you give, be it e-mock or answers that you give. You try and internalize that these facts are there in your mind. In fact, uh, they are very small, simple tips that I am sharing with you now. I would expect that uh, you should uh, match the question and answer. A lot of time we speak, we are not answering. So it is to be understood that you are giving answer to somebody who is asking your opinion about it or your views about it or your reflection of facts and information about it. Again, a lot of time people speak thematically. I would like you to have the big picture sensitivity all right, but at the same time you should speak on the topic. Like if they are asking question on cottage industry, you should not be talking about industrial sector per se. Of course, this cottage industry is part of the industrial sector per se, but then they are asking about cottage industry, so stay on the cottage industry itself and then show them that you know about the sector per se. So this is a, a, a kind of art that you have to basically internalize. And when you're giving answers in EMOC and places like that, try and see that you have got this idea or not. Like we may be talking about the infrastructure for vaccination of COVID. Well, the big picture is health infrastructure. So have the sensitivity of health infrastructure while you're talking about the vaccination infrastructure in the country. So this is what I am sensitizing you about. Also, there should be uh, something that they are really excited about listening from you. This is a, a kind of sensitivity that we have to develop while we are practicing at home. When you are giving answer, you try and see that is there something which is what I have got special to say. It's not that essentially you must have a special thing to say everywhere, but a cherry and the cake is a good idea. But they haven't asked you to sell cherry. They're buying the cake and cherry is a good idea. So that's something which is what I would like you to keep in mind. Apart from that, I would also try to see that your answers are crisp. They're not too elaborate and then they are not kind of tangential in, the, uh, in, in a manner that you have a question here, your answer is flowing here. No, the, the, the answer has to be uh, precise, crisp and then hold their attention. That is very vital. I would also like you to uh, ensure that you are accommodative to the extent possible. You are, if at all, required to deviate or you have to have a position to be taken. Don't stress too much on that and be very polite there, extra polite I must say. Also, uh, reflect that uh, you, you understand this could be another view of it. If you find something wrong in, in, in the statement, the facts that they point out, be ready to reposition yourself. Say that, sir, I'll go back and, and check more on that. I need to read more little, little more on that. I, 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 I may not be uh, correct on it. So be ready to reposition. That shows that you are a person who can be hired for training. You are ready to change. You are ready to evolve and that is important. I, I think uh, I, 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 I would like you to be, when you are auditing your answers, try and see that, uh, that they, they are, this is very vital actually, they are finding some hope and positivity in answer. Hope and positivity when I say it is something which my generation is always looking forward to and it really really makes me comfortable. If you make me comfortable, I'll make you comfortable. As simple as that. Idea is that when you're talking to them and when you're speaking to them, you're one person who is uh, liked by them. You're one person who they are happy with. You're one person who is actually having some hope in a store is one person who is not bundle of information, is one person who has got aspects of empathy, compassions and those traits that they're looking for. So I would like to insist 
that in the last few days, please spend a lot of time reading the gazette and the words that is given there for the interview preparation that uh, students will be tested on this, 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 those parameters and the words that you have got. Try reading a few hundred times so that they get internalized and when you are reflecting yourself there, some trait of those beautiful words are reflected in that. Additionally, I would also be interested that you are reading our preamble of the constitution, DPST, fundamental duties, fundamental rights, uh, uh, several times, so that some of those words that are there, they are coming as part of your speech. My best wishes.